In this in-depth series, I'll show you how to combine standard Joomla articles with the Asteroid framework to create powerful reusable templates. In this first tutorial, we'll explore mission-critical Joomla integration points, including how to use the widget tabs within articles in conjunction with single blog category options, all with a view to linking up with our Asteroid article layouts later in this series. Don't worry, the tutorial is chaptered, allowing you to skip ahead if you're already familiar with the basics. For reference, you can find the article layouts at System, Site Templates, Asteroid Template 2 Default, Template Options, and down here on the left hand side, Article Blog, and specifically we're looking for Article Layout Builder. This is where you'll discover photography and tour layouts, which we'll be working with later. Once again, we'll be using the Asteroid Boilerplate template to investigate fully this seamless integration. Our end goal is to create an article template for promoting online courses. At this point, what exactly we will achieve remains uncertain. However, the plan is to create from the ground up several mock-up layouts as outlined here. A teaser page for tutorials, a page featuring basic course material, complete with a registration module, and a somewhat more elaborate page containing more comprehensive content all of which will be designed to be 100% reusable. The exact mechanics of how these layouts work with each other will be a topic we'll explore in depth at a later date. For now, we'll focus on laying the groundwork for these core layout elements. My hope is that you can take the online course example as a springboard to create pretty much any kind of article layout you want. A buckle up for another Asteroid Deep Dive series. Navigating in the front end to the classic blog page and the home vintage blog, this is pretty much as old school as it gets. Parallel in the Joomla back end and navigating to content, articles, and searching for and looking at the home vintage blog article. We notice the standard Joomla article tabs, such as content, images and links, and all of these options still work if required once we have our Asteroid layouts up and running. We will see native article Joomla fields, such as article intro text, article title, article content, and much more. These will turn up later in our playlist, within our article layout editor alongside Asteroid widgets. Any tab with a colored dot in front of it is there because we have the Asteroid framework installed. Having a peek in the article types options tab, we notice the article type is set to regular, meaning that whilst we have Asteroid installed, at this point, our article is pretty much still as standard as it gets. While not directly part of the article layout builder, it's crucial to understand that the article type tab can and often plays a supporting role in this workflow. We've explored many of these article type options in detail in our boilerplate series on this channel. Let's also note that there's a widget tab, which as of now is simply a placeholder for article layouts containing widgets. The reason we're seeing nothing in the widget tab is related to the category we're in. Returning to the details tab at the very front of our article, we notice that our article is in an uncategorized category, which is in fact a category in itself. In the Joomla backend, navigating to content, categories, we notice that we have a total of three categories. Uncategorized, containing eight articles. Tour, containing one article. 
photography containing one article. In parallel, on the Joomla front end, we do two things. We navigate to the blog menu and notice that we have two pages of blog posts with and without extra asteroid article type options. These are, of course, all of our uncategorized articles, a total of eight. Let's now check out the two submenus of the menu item article layouts, which consist of the following tour example, photography example. Both of these have read more sections. Let's break things down using the article in the tour category as an example. Directly below the article name, we see a slideshow, which isn't part of the article layout builder itself. So for clarity, let's do the following. We navigate to our Greece article in the back end, to the article type options tab, where we switch off the slideshow, and this will help us to stay focused on our task at hand. Whilst we're here, let's also check out the content tab and note the category. This article is posted to Tour. Still, in the Content tab, it's important to understand that whilst we have the option to use dedicated Asteroid Text widgets and potentially replace a standard blog content, we are not obliged to do so. In this example, the introduction and the main text, including two blocks of bullet points, are all generated using standard Joomla article elements. Now we're going to get our first peek at Asteroid widgets and how they integrate at the Joomla article level. At this time, the difference is apparent. In the widgets tab of our current article, posted in the tour category, we see a total of five widgets. These are, of course, our Asteroid widgets that are set up on a category-by-category -category basis. Each widget is labeled with a clear description of its type. And to quickly understand the layout, we can disable widgets and refresh the front end to see what content comes from where. All widgets are highly configurable in both content and style. At this point, I have to make a little bit of a confession. I'm not entirely sure where the elements after the blog title and before the standard content section are coming from. Fingers crossed that I'll figure this out later in this tutorial series. When navigating to the widgets tab in our photography category article, we see a total of three widgets. These are similar yet different widgets. Obviously, Joomla categories play a central role in this endeavor. It's critical to understand that while Asteroid elevates article layout formatting, this formatting is brought into focus through Joomla categories. To demonstrate this, we navigate to the Vintage Blog article in the Asteroid Widgets tab. We remind ourselves that we have no widgets available to edit. In the Content tab, we change the category from Uncategorized to Tour. Save and refresh. In the front end, we've messed up our URL and we now need to navigate to our blog article via the tour example menu. Here, we now see our vintage blog article and at first glance, all looks pretty straightforward with standard components like article content and thumbnail. But clicking the read more link, we see similar formatting applied to both articles in our tour category. Back in the Joomla article editor, we navigate to the widgets tab, now populated with, you guessed it, widgets. And yes, these are the same five widgets we saw in the crease article, which now shares a common category with our vintage article. Now, to wrap up this extended exploration of how article categories work in conjunction with Asteroid widgets, we need to visit the category, the tour category, and check out its additional Asteroid functionality. This way we'll complete the circle of Asteroid integration at the Joomla end of things. 
Here we find a colored dot in front of the single blog options tab, which contains two important options. The first is the option to select a template, linking to our asteroid template, our default template. And the second option allows us to choose an article layout, where we can select between tour, photography, or the default system layout. We will examine these layouts in more detail in the next webinar in this series. For now, let's break things by selecting default, saving and checking out our two tour articles on the front end. You'll notice that all the extra widget functionality is now missing. Now on a side note, I can also see that the mystery grid between the Greece article title and content is still there, which confirms my suspicion that this has nothing to do with asteroid article layouts as such. For now, I'm going to fix this by manually selecting the tour layout from the select an article layout drop down menu, then save and refresh. Asteroid article layouts like these are more complex than standard Joomla articles or for that matter, asteroid article option types. Their real beauty lies in their profound integration with Joomla, specifically at the category level. They're completely reusable, which is fantastic if you're building something more complex, whether it's a property portal or in my case, a training portal. And let's not forget that at this point, we are only scratching the surface. Please like and subscribe if you find this useful and would like more of the same.